Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is I, James L. C. Graves, who uh, have not shaved my head or my face in what seems like forever. Uh, yeah, I was out. I was out from about uh, December seventeenth ish to about four or five days ago. I cannot uh, keep my voice going without sounding like this. You should have done it for the family. That's how I sounded, and plus I kept hacking up lungs. I have a garbage bag full of phlegm and nonsense next to me still from uh, I should probably take care of that anyway ladies and gentlemen the last time we talked we were walking into the muscle final between Louis Diana's Puka Nakua Matata and Kyle Stoker's you're in trouble so let's take a look I haven't really organized how to do this. I've had three weeks to make this, and I have, like, no clue on how I'm going to go forward. So, it's going to be all over the place, probably. But, nevertheless, let's take a look at what happened since we've been gone. Not only with the muscle bracket, but also the suck bracket. As we get ready to do the slowest so many minutes in football. Here we go. Oh, my God. It's so loud. I miss it. Here we go. First and foremost, we have... The national championship game, the title game, whatever you want to call it, it's so goddamn loud, we don't know what's happening. It was a brutal night. Puka Nakua Matata was down. Denver came, <laughs> came up for trouble and put him way down, and Denver played like Denver plays and lost points and lost points and lost points, and going into the final night, we had... Jalen Hurts needed 15 points to win. He is the worst fucking most overrated quarterback in history. And now it shows it because the Eagles are losing every game. It was like, what's wrong with the Eagles? I've been saying it all year long. The Eagles are overachievers. Jalen Hurts is a fraud. But nevertheless, Lewis Diana had to watch slowly but surely. Jalen, I'm a piece of garbage Hurts, slowly creeped up and got... To 15.72 points. Also helped out by Mike Evans's neck beard and his 19.8 points. Kyron Williams 11.20 points. You're in trouble. Defeated him by 65.27 to 64.8. The closest muscle final in the history of muscle finals. And you know who you can blame it on? James. I fumbled the fucking football cook. He fumbled the ball, lost him two points, and cost Lewis a chance of being the first ever muscle back, or not back-to-back, -back, but two-time champion. So that was that. We'll go back to that in a minute. But in the meantime, week 17, Patriots, True Blue Wrecking Crew, James A. Dream versus Roger Brewer, and this guy whose head looks way too small for this body, Jake Browning. He's in a Vikings uniform. He doesn't play for the Vikings. This is what was happening to me. I was coughing nonstop. It's coming back because I'm revved up, people. Here we go. Jake Browning in his purple suit put up 15.54. Matthew Stafford, we'll talk about him in a minute. Uh, Browning was enough to knock down the True Blue Wrecking Crew. And in the other game, Bracey Trudell uh, just got annihilated by DeMar Hamlin's booster shot. Uh, thanks to Travis Atn, as well as Jalen Hurts. We talked about him earlier. And then um, Joe Mixon put up 12.35 points. So good job to you. And that, of course, meant the suck bracket final was just, just two days ago. <laughs> well, maybe three days ago. I don't know what day it is. Nevertheless, the Patriots, led by Darius Slayton, and his staggering 11.60 points, uh, along with Jerry Judy. He's the judge. Brandon Cooks all put up 11 points. This is not... Record-shattering numbers, but it's week 18. The fact you had anyone to play is impressive. Justin Fields, who's who George, uh, Lewis also trusted in that final game, uh, didn't let down. I mean, I kind of let him down. 4.31 points, but nevertheless. The Patriots, James St. Germain, win. And win somewhat sizably, 15 points, whatever. Congratulations to you, as well as to... Obviously, uh, good job to everybody there who played. That was that was much quicker. That's how that fast that should be. That was about three minutes actually. Um, so uh, real quick, um, it is now again 
this is the season is over, but the, the 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 whole muscle campaign is not over. As I'll talk about in a minute. If you look at these big things up here, we have the new Survivor League playoff challenge happening. But first, it's time to give a little respect where respect is due. Here we go! It is with great honor that I introduce to you your 2023 Michigan Ultimate Survivor. His name is Kyle Marks. league and you have done it you've been in this league for a long time you went with the midway monsters you were various other teams you've done it you stuck with it you won you didn't have the greatest end of the regular season nevertheless you are hanging the banner friend congratulations i'm going to turn this down we're going to look real quick at your playoff journey your season's journey real quick well because this clip's two minutes long probably gonna get a copyright strike but nevertheless I don't know if you can hear this. I have a variance between the output and the actual sound that I'm hearing. Nevertheless, week one, he defeated your mother likes my defense, former champion. Week two, he defeated Gares Bears when it wasn't Gares Bears at the time. Week three, do you even swift, bro? Eric Hester put the wood to him. Week four, he beat I don't do cane. I just do like the smell of it, whatever. Week five, he defeated Freddy versus Jason. Not a great year for him. Week six, defeated to crush. Week seven, Lost to Hurt So Good, Parker Dalton. Week 8, defeated Ryan Frazier. Week 9, lost to Cody Cole. Week 10, beat True Blue Wrecking Crew, who just lost in the semi in the, the suck bracket semifinals. And week 11, lost to Bracey Trudell. But nevertheless, it was enough to get him where he needed to be. Congratulations to that. That did not time out the way I wanted it to. But nevertheless, uh, yeah, well, I'm going to look at his journey anyway. He got a bye. Uh, it seems weird now. So we're just going to start it over. We don't care. Um, we He got a buy because he won his conference, won $50 for that. It's not quite as emotional now, but still, people are tearing up, I'm sure. In week two of the final of the bracket, he beat Honolulu Blues 91 to 86.2. Dropped 100 on the Tally Whackers in the second round. 133 points, which I believe is a playoff record, over Bleeding Blue Bombers. Defeated Pukanuku Matata in the final 65.27 to 64.8. Your muscle champion one more time. Sir, that was great. Not to be <laughs> outdone here, but uh, Muscle second place, place did go to Puka Nakua Matata, Louis Diana, the first player in history to come in first, second, and I believe third in this league. Um, the Apache Chiefs came in third, four, yeah, third, and then uh, Bleeding Blue Bombers ended up in fourth. Suck bracket we already talked about. Congratulations to James St. Germain. You are free entry to next year, but... If you want to do two teams, you still have a reason to play in the next thing I'm going to talk about, which is the uh, Muscle Playoff Challenge, uh, which is a new league, free to play. Go to the site. I'm going to link it in the Facebook page <coughs> as well as this post and the YouTube article. Click it. You've all been invited to this league already. Players are all reset. This is not a, like... Start the people who think you're last of the Super Bowl. You get multiple points. That's a league that's very popular for the playoffs. That's how this works. This is literally the same thing we've been playing. You use a player once and he's done. So you want to start the people who you don't think will be in the Super Bowl. You want to save the people who think will be in the Super Bowl for the last. So they're still there, obviously. Um, and uh, <clears throat> your players are reset. But you don't play against anybody. This is just... Uh the most points at the end of the Super Bowl wins a pr free entry into next year. Um, so that's cool. 
Um, speaking, so the do it, do it. It's free. It's fun. Get you extra time into uh, into the Survivor League. You know, extra football. Like I said, this is the best twenty dollars to twenty five dollars you can spend because you get a whole year worth, including the playoffs. Playoffs. I don't have my soundboard up. I wasn't ready for it. You talking about playoffs? Um, we couldn't do diddly poo. I couldn't do diddly poo for two weeks. Is why it took me so long to make this podcast. Um, and then the next thing I want to talk about. Well, first of all, next year. If you're going to be in next year, which, I mean, I, I'll tell you, like, and I know it sounds like I probably say this every year, and I might say it every year, maybe not. Most years, it seems like we have the best team of owners we've ever had. Well, every year, we have, I don't know, 8 to 10 to 12 to 15 people who leave, and we have to fill in those spots, okay? We had, th- I think, three people drop in the middle of the, early in the year, and they were replaced, one guy, one team got replaced twice, technically, and it's like, I don't know what's going to happen, guys. I really don't. We have a max of 100 teams in this league. I have four people who want new teams. Who want teams. So that's 100 right there. Assuming, I mean, I think everyone but maybe one or two people will come back this year. So if you're going to come back, <coughs> make my life easier and send me a message. Post in the group. I'm going to make a poll and see who's coming back next year. I'm pretty sure damn near everyone's coming back. And that's amazing. But it might be a problem. As we expand, we can only have 100 people in this league. So what do we do? I don't know. We'll worry about that when we get there. But, dude, you guys are amazing. I'm telling you. I was talking to uh, one of the new owners that will be coming in next year, hopefully. His name's John Dexter. I was talking to him about uh, about this league. And it's like, you know, we're talking about regular fantasy leagues. And I like legit gave that up several years ago. I was in a league forever, as mo- many of you know. Some of you are still in that league. And it's like, this is it for me, man. This is it. This is the best fantasy football league ever that I've ever been a part of. I'm very honored to have created it uh, with Richard Perez, you know, who is not currently in the league, but still. He, he comes and goes. And uh, I know you guys appreciate it, and I really do appreciate you all for sticking with it. Several of you, including Kyle Mark Stoker, has been in this league a long time. It's great to see it pay off for you, my man. So uh, if you're going to be in, send me a message, post the thing. I'm going to post a poll or whatever the fuck it is i don't know nevertheless we have two more things to go over number one prop bet sheets are back those are going to be posted probably tomorrow night wednesday night maybe wednesday in case you're new and you don't know what that is basically you cash app venmo paypal whatever five dollars per sheet there's going to be 15 questions about this weekend's games and monday's game because for whatever reason that's a terrible idea but still you fill it out, you get as many sheets as you want, um, whoever has the most wins all the money. If it's a tie, you split, you know? Um, it's pretty cool, like, you know, it's like, who will have the most, who will have more passing yards, this person or this person, you know? <coughs> it's various prop bets, you know, and what are you going to do? And then finally, the super squares, uh, two weeks have gone by, I mean, I'll go back three weeks here, actually. Hannah Kimmel won uh, with the Browns and uh, <coughs> Amari Cooper. And then the field, who is, uh, I don't know, it's been like a month ago. And then week 17, most uh, tied in with the most receiving yards, freaking Njoku for the Browns again. And then the Saints got it, Lewis Diana won that. And then this week's was the longest field goal. The Colts and the Buccaneers, Nick Harris, that field. It's weird, the field thing is only supposed to win on the bad categories. There's actually a positive category in one. So keep in mind. We're already looking. A lot of teams are eliminated for next week already. Next week is the highest score. So I'm going to post the new and improved sheets, show who's alive right from the jump and who's not. So it's going to be good, people. It's going to be good. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. I'll be hooking up. Don't forget to join the Survivor League, the uh, playoff league. You're already in the Survivor League. All right. See you.